Nick. Everyone's always talking about him, but no one ever seems to show any love to his cute, tech-savvy sidekick, Tails. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! So, that's where I come in. This is a job best suited for someone who reigns from the Waffle Kingdom. So sit back, grab your chili dogs, and get comfortable as we go through the history and life of Tails. Tails is an anthropomorphic fox who made his first appearance in the beloved classic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Sega Genesis. Tails, however, is just a nickname. His real name is Miles Per Hour, which is a portmanteau of Miles Per Hour, because it's a Sonic game and speed. Miles Per Hour. <laughs> No, that's pretty clever, to be honest. Unfortunately, though, our little fox friend isn't too fast on his feet, so his main mode of transportation is to use his, you guessed it, tails to travel around. In terms of gameplay, Tails acts as a second playable character, usually meant for a younger sibling to take control of. Seeing as he couldn't leave the screen without Sonic, and would constantly be left behind cause Sonic is just too fast! Oh come on, slow down! But he could take out the enemies and fight the bosses with Player One, letting themselves feel so helpful. As I briefly mentioned before, Tails is Sonic's tech-savvy partner. We only get a small taste of this in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where we would see him constantly flying the tornado, Sonic's personal airplane. It wasn't until the later 3D installments and cartoons of Sonic the Hedgehog where we would start to learn more about these characters in depth. Tails was born with a genetic mutation, giving him two tails. Because of this, all throughout his young life, he was constantly getting bullied, and eventually given his nickname, Tails. However, Tails was always extremely smart, and because of his high IQ, he decided to dedicate his time and energy to becoming a master engineer. Eventually, he met Sonic the Hedgehog and was inspired to be as cool as him one day. Tails eventually did become Sonic's sidekick and would create amazing inventions for them to use on their adventures, like in Sonic Adventure. Two. When you play through Tails' segments, he's usually in some kind of awesome mech that he created, or his car... thing. I don't know the names very well. The point is, Tails makes a lot of cool inventions. Tails' character pretty much stayed the same for many years to come. It wasn't until Sonic Boom revamped a lot of the characters, making them more exaggerated, not only in their personalities, but in their design as well. So naturally, the same was done to Tails, always wearing his safety goggles, tool belt, and carrying a wrench. Because hey, you never know when something's gonna need fixing. His overall personality has also changed, somewhat for the best, and somewhat for the worst. Bad, because he's kind of now just another Donatello, Jimmy Neutron, technology is the best thing ever sort of character. But the personality change is also good, because Tails is now super energetic and super motivated to be just like his role model. Sonic. What it is you admire about Sonic the so-called hedgehog? So many things. He's fast, he's cunning, he can destroy any opponent with a single spin dash! He's got a lovely singing voice! Trying to impress him every chance that he gets, and prove his worth as a hero. Don't worry about me! Get out of here! That's not how sidekicks do! Tails only ever had one game that was dedicated to him. Tails Adventure. The game is a side-scroller, but a more traditional, slow-paced one, very much unlike Sonic the Hedgehog. You move pretty slow, but you have a lot of puzzles to solve, meaning you can't just run blindly to the right. You gotta stop, slow down, and do some thinking to get past the obstacle. Hey, just like Tails would do. Yeah, he's the smart one after all, needing to rely more on his wits and strategy as opposed to blunt force. That's a really creative way of designing a game for Tails. Two Tails up. Tails is a character that I feel like we could all relate to on a personal level. Being that shy, insecure person, never really feeling like much and getting picked on. But all it takes is having that one person, or heck, even fictional character, that we look up to. We look up to them and aspire to be just like them one day. 
so we could eventually be that person that some other young, shy kid can look up to. And while we may not be there just quite yet, until then, we just gotta do what we can do. Because whether you can see it or not, and whether it feels like it or not, you're already a hero.